Right, welcome episode to 19. the Marketer Show. This is our episode 19. Thank you so much for tuning in. Now, uh, we understand that a lot of people will actually watch this on uh, replay. If you're watching the replay, thank you for watching. If you're new to us, right, okay, this is the Three Marketer Show. We go live every Wednesday night at 10 p.m. Uh, I'm your host, Jason, with my co-hosts, Manfred and Andrew. What we're going to do here is like every week, we become students when we learn something from our guests yes, here. Yes. So, yeah, it's really one of the most interesting turn that we actually saw in our three market show because when we first started, we wanted to do something in a way where, you know, like creating some, some I mean, to create value to our audiences for them to learn something from all respect. But three of us, we got nothing much to say, to be frank, you know. A few, few episodes down the road, we realized that, okay, I, that's kind of like, and then eventually we started inviting guests and that's how the whole thing become very interesting because eventually that become my one of the most look forward to moment every week because I become student instead of teaching, I become student and I learn from our guests over here. So mm -hmm. it's the most beautiful thing over here. So today we have a very, very, very super interesting topic and our guest here is going to talk about video storyboarding. So mm -hmm. um, I think Shad is Manfred's friend, but what I understand from Shad just now from a brief, brief discussion, Shad runs a digital agency and, 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 and training academy. So, uh, you know, from a brief discussion, I can hear that this guy really knows a lot of stuff. So today, if you have any questions, any questions at all regarding video or uh, uh, so-called storyboarding, because we all understand that video is really becoming one of the most important element when it comes to digital advertising, whether you're doing it on YouTube or Facebook and all that. So it's really important. And I think, you know, it's, re I mean, the easiest way for us to learn is to learn from somebody who actually practices it all the time, as well as, you know, somebody not just practices it, but teaches that thing. So. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to pass my baton over to Manfred first to, quit, to do an introduction about Shad. And then after that, I'll bring Shad up. All right, Manfred, you're up. Yep. Okay, uh, I think I met Shad a few years back. I was taking his course and uh, he's the one who teach me social proving. <laughs> All the social proving <laughs> that we've been talking about. I, I took it further than uh, the social proving. I, I don't target Singapore, I target elsewhere. <laughs> and, uh, and I have to say, he really brings value to his lessons and uh, he goes the extra mile. I am very honored to introduce him and very happy here he's sharing uh, his uh, knowledge to us. So uh, come, Shad, you take over. So, man, Shad, please, okay. please share with us about you. What do you do? What is your background? And then, okay. you know, yeah, share with us. Sure. Please. All yeah. right. Firstly, you know, I would like to thank um, you guys for inviting me to this amazing platform, you know, and uh, sharing contents. I want to put it across as like, you know, as someone, you know, who comes from uh, a coaching angle, I would rather put it across as a coaching, a coach, I mean, as, as, a, as a, a sharing session, because I think the three of you are experts in your own field. And uh, for what I'll be sharing, you know, is just basically uh, more knowledge, you know, for, for the masses. You see, and I hope that I'm able to do my short uh, time over here. I think for the next one hour, um, you know, I hope that it will add tremendous value, you know, uh, to your fans, to people who are logging on, you know, online right now, you know, to find out, you know, uh, what can be, uh, that, what they can actually apply or maybe perhaps, you know, from the contents that I'll be sharing uh, over here. Okay, so uh, basically, you know, uh, about me is that uh, we run, you know, Digital Advertising uh, Academy in Singapore, right? Uh, an ad agency and a training center as well. You know, uh, we conduct training in Facebook marketing, uh, in YouTube marketing, uh, and of course, on both on basic and advanced level and all that, right? Okay, then uh, we conduct, you know, uh, we run, you know, advertising agency work uh, for other companies. You see, uh, and uh, we're heavily involved in the real estate uh, landscape in Singapore, as well as insurance, uh, car dealers, uh, interior design. Companies basically, who are basically in need of leads. So uh, what we do is that, okay, we create the entire marketing system from design, okay, until, you know, client acquisition. So we walk them through step by step on how uh, they can, they can, uh, they can, uh, utilize, you know, or maybe perhaps, you know, uh, maximize, you know, digital marketing uh, to its full use. You see, and of course, you know, uh, our job is to bring the uh, the client, I mean, the, the, the client's uh, potential customer, you know, uh, on eye to eye, you see, so which means along the way, preparing them, you know, uh, and of course, you see, nurturing and educating them, you know, about the companies and all that, right, about the company's values, okay, about uh, the, the, uh, the companies are not only values, okay, about the companies, uh, 
what are the values it stand for, okay, the, the product benefits, everything and so on. So this can be done. So uh, in a way that the moment when the customer made up, you know, with the uh, with our clients, they already prepared, you know, what is expected and all that. So not much sales, you know, uh, sales talk need to be uh, to be taking place. Okay, because you know why the customers are educated on the front end. You see, right. so by the time when they meet, uh, when they meet, you see half the battle is won. It's like as if I made up with you. I know who you are, what you're able to deliver to me, and all that. What you're able to provide me, you see. And okay. all they need to do, okay, the salesperson needs to do, okay, is you know to speak about the products, okay, to understand where the customer is coming from, okay, to fill in those needs, and they can actually seal the deal. So in short, to say that we are helping them, you know, to fulfill part of the sales process. Yeah, so awesome. yeah, so technically that is what you know we do. Okay. You, prime, okay. you prime and marinate the prime and marinate so well that they are ready to be cooked with. Yeah, yeah. So I think this is really like this sets you apart from normal agencies, I think, because not many agencies that I know, because I came from agency background as well, mm -hmm. a little bit. I mean, I actually spent the past bloody 10 years doing that. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, you know, I know how actually how much, uh, you know, hard work that we need to put in. And yeah. it's so, so much more commitment that you are actually putting into your work compared to other agencies. Mm -hmm. I think that sets you apart. Now I want to bring back, I want to bring back to our topic today. I think, I think that the audiences are really eager to find out mm -hmm. uh, from, from you about story, video storyboarding, but let me actually do this a little bit. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, for you guys who are watching this, right, please make sure that you, know, you actually kind of like prepare yourself from any questions that you have. Please type them in the comment below because uh, this is where we will pick up questions from you and we will actually throw it over to Shad and see whether what he's going to come up with. Is. So basically, Shad, first question that I have, mm. that we have for you here is like, can you actually uh, uh, share with us a little bit more about what is video storyboarding? Okay. Well, uh, it's short to say, okay. Video storyboarding, storyboarding, you know, is to prepare, you know, your potential prospects, you know, on a journey okay, to become your customer. So, which means to say that you, you, you can just imagine this, yeah. Okay, a uh, pe people buy, okay, people buy because of emotion. People buy because the message is, message is strong enough. It's as if that the advertisement is speaking to my need, right? Or maybe perhaps, you know, you're not, they may not be aware, okay, of an existing problem that they may have. So, we raise across, okay, that need on a video content. You see, and a video content, you know, uh, can come from all kind of variety of angles. It can come from humor. You know, it can come from emotion, deep emotions and all that, right? You know, it can come on, on like, you know, like educational, uh, educational kind of video content. So, uh, and it depends on the industry or maybe perhaps, you know, the niches that they're looking at, you see. And that is where, you know, formulate, you know, the concept, you know, of a video storyboarding, you see, because uh, viewers nowadays are very selective the way I look at it, right? Uh, if you are too direct in your selling, right, you will not catch on, okay, you, you will not have an extended, you know, viewer time. That's a thing for sure, right? Uh, the mindset, mindset or maybe the psychological approach uh, towards someone who's going to en be engaging to a certain topic, you see, it's, it's, it has taken a radical turn, in fact. They are more selective, okay, to the contents. If we keep on, you know, producing the contents that is more similar to mainstream, right, uh, that is not story-based or maybe perhaps that is trying to hard sell too much, Okay, then you'll see a dip in viewership, definitely. You see, but if it's going to be more on emotional based content, that means people will be able to resonate very strongly. Okay, and that is where you'll be able to see an extended time in viewership. And why it's so important, you see, because uh, when someone has there's an extended time in viewership and all that, okay, you are able literally, you know, you know, to to retrieve these data, okay? And of course, you see, you'll be able to re-engage the audience again on another day and all that, you see? And for part of the reason, you'll be, you'll be, you'll be able, you know, to, uh, to, to be able to influence them, you know, directly, okay? And for them to trigger, the, to trigger the curiosity in them where they log on to your landing page, you know, and that is where, you know, to find out more and that is where you'll be able to actually uh, provide, you know, all the social profiles like reviews and everything, you know, all the past papers are saying about, about you. Okay, and from there, you know, you'll be able to to uh, to educate, nurture them, and they would have made up their mind, you know, that hey, this is something that 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 I want. It's really speaking to me and all that, and he's showing valid proof over here. Mm. Now I want to move forward from there. Yeah. So basically, that is what we do. You know, we we educate the, the the marketplace, okay, on what our clients are able to deliver. You see, right. and, and from right. there, you know, when when they convert, you know, on the advertisements, when they convert on the landing page. 
all right uh it's the conviction is there that i want to move forward from there from here and right after that after the clients get a lead in okay because of the process that we took in place okay and we also provide a follow-up scripting and all that okay whereby it makes it easier for them to connect the customer okay and when uh they fix on the sales i mean on the sales appointment date you know the, the half the battle is won because they have already been introduced to the customer on the front end Mm, okay. Okay. So, I mean, what I picked up from your sharing just now, Shad, is is you say actually you mentioned about the emotional hook actually expands the the so called engagement time, which I believe what you're doing here is that you're using the engagement time in the video itself to really prime them, and then after that you will actually start retargeting them with another ads and so on and so forth. So oh, yeah. now I want to come back to the first video itself. I mean, uh, in a way. Everybody is doing the same thing. Like, I mean, it's similar to my two-step funnel framework, which is we have a tier one and tier two a campaign running. But I guess what I want to find out from you here is when it comes to, I mean, I want to go back to the topic a little bit here, which is I want to talk about the, 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 the storyboarding. As in, like, how do you, which are, how do you actually angle? Because can you actually give a case study, like for example, for what kind of services on what kind of storyboarding that you will approach, if you don't mind? If there is okay, any case now, study that we can share a little bit uh, here. All right. Okay. Now, for example, okay, a person is a is a property agent, for example. Right. Right. Okay. Right. Uh, I mean, to, to understand this, you know, the approach and all that, we truly have to understand, you know, uh, from the market angle itself. Okay, the current market situation right now. So, in Singapore, you know, nowadays, uh, today as what it is right now, salary is not increasing. Okay, mm -hmm. but property price is on is on the on, is is on the uh, upside. All right. You know, Right. Okay. So as time goes on and all that, okay, for whatever you're earning, right, uh, you won't be able to pay with the down payment. So sooner or later, if it's not set in control correctly, if your salary cap is not increasing, right, it's going to be happening like what is happening in Hong Kong right now. Yeah. People can't afford to buy the property. It's, it's so expensive in Hong Kong, in London, and all that. Okay. And what happens is that people are just renting it out. You get you get what I mean, right? So you don't have you know you you don't have you know a a, a I mean a a property to your name you see uh so you see like uh for example okay uh, how we create this kind of storyboard you know uh for our client okay one of my client you know is a coach I just share this okay. with you it's a coach okay. okay so uh her job is you see uh she was a former coach turned property agent all right okay? and she trains the youth so what we use what we apply over here is you know based on a current you know based on a past profession how much has actually contributed a coach on a national level? Let me just share this with you. Okay, whereby she trains the basketball team. Mm. So, you get you get what I mean, right? On a youth level, you know. So, you know, we relate, we connect, okay, based on what she was doing formerly and what had actually inspired her to become a property agent. Right? Mm -hmm. Because you know, through her coaching experience, you know, dealing with youth and all that, preparing them, you know, on, on national level. Okay, and she realized one thing that you see, um, if nothing is is being planned by the parents you know today it's nothing is being planned by the parents today by the time that the youth grow up okay by the time they are ready on a, they, they have already gotten married if they want to buy a house let's say 10 years down the road they cannot afford you know the down payment because if salary ceiling doesn't pick up okay your in Malaysia we call it the EPF right in Singapore we call it CPF okay uh, you won't be able to have sufficient fund okay to pay for the down payment even though if the government would have come up, you know, with, with whatever grants and all that available, okay, but if you don't have that sufficient amount, okay, to meet the minimum cap, they won't be able to purchase the property. So back to where my story is, okay, how we build the kind of content we blend in, you see, and that is where, you know, we tell her, we tell a bit about herself, you know, where she come from. So the strong selling point about her is that she is coaching people on national level. That creates a lot of brand credibility. You get you get what I mean, right? And I'm a transform transformation moment, okay, whereby she became okay, she became a property agent. Part of the reason why. Okay, so right now she became a property agent because she wants to educate the marketplace on the importance of parents if they can afford it, you know, right now to upgrade and to own a condo. Why? Because five years down the road, they'll be able to sell at a profit. So every five years, if they're able to buy, sell, buy, sell, they'll be able to actually make a substantial amount of profit. This profit can be used for savings. So by the time that when the children are going to get married and going to have a house, they already have the money, you know, down there to help the children, okay, pay for a partial of the deposit for the house and all that. 
So to make them prepared for the next phase of their life and all that, okay, without struggling too hard, without renting a place, and they can begin a family immediately. This is a very holistic, a, a very holistic uh, uh, direction, okay, whereby, um, you know, if the agent were to provide, you know, such kind of, uh, I mean, such kind of advices, you know, to the marketplace and all, okay, the public will be able to see it. So where's the connection point over here? People will realize that, yeah, it's true. The property price are picking up, okay, despite any cooling measures and all that. The salary is not increasing. And they look at the kids right now, okay, and they realize that one thing that, hey, my kid, you know, I, I find that, you know, in 10 years down the road, if the salary is not increasing, right, if they if they go into the workforce, the salary, they have, there's a ceiling for that. But then if the price of the property is increasing, how are they going to afford that property in future? So if I don't do something that is within my ability right now today because of my fear to upgrade, you see, then after that, I will put, I will compromise, you know, my my kids, you know, in time to come when they're on a, on 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 on. I mean, when they are, they, when they, after they get married, okay, I'm able, I'm I'm compromising, okay. What uh, I mean, I'm compromising, okay, the ability to own a house. You see, so where do we get over here? So as a parent, you, so if, let's say if you were to create a content over here, for example, let me just share with you something. If you create content, I mean, like we create a content for her, right? Explaining about the uh, that she was a coach and like that kind of things. Okay, so what we do is that what we we create the content. So maybe she she would be saying something like, okay, uh, that uh, you know I was a coach. Okay, I've been uh, and my job, you know, I train. Okay, I train you, prepare them for national level. Okay, at the same right. time, you know, I realize, okay, that if okay they grow up, okay, with the current you know salary selling, you know that is being being kept most of the time, the property price increasing. They may not have the right kind of opportunity as what we're having, you know, right now today. Because of that, inspired me. It motivated me to join the property industry. Because I sense that there's a lot of parents, you know, nowadays they can, okay, they can, they can afford to upgrade. But it's just that because of there are a lot of reasons being skeptical or not having you know the proper uh, the proper financial tools, you know, that prevented them from taking such kind of actions. You see, so you know, we we work on that kind of angle, that kind of sentiments. All right. You use the origin story kind of format to exactly, exactly. So okay. basically, you know, a, a video storyboard has to be origin, because every single individual, I truly believe, you have got a a a story, you know, about 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 yourself. You yeah. see. And every single story is unique. That's just the beauty about it. Yeah. You see, so if the content of the story is replicated or maybe perhaps you know copied from someone else, and it doesn't, it won't have the 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 the, the vibe or maybe perhaps the buzz you know down there. Mm. But if it comes from your own personal angle for what you've been through and what you observe and what you see, there's a market gap down there. You can actually capitalize or maybe perhaps you know you can actually close the gap. You see, and uh, and of course it, it it draws out you know the right kind of element. And that's something that people want to hear. And when she when she does, when we build the story for her, it connects very strongly. And there's also another one that uh, that we built a story about uh, this uh, guy who uh, we, we spoke, we, both, we, we built the story and all that, okay, whereby, you know, his dad, you know, missed the opportunity and, you know, and lost about $1 million. Mm. See, through property as well. You wow. see, and that had actually connected, you know, so well to the audience. So normally these kind of great video storyboards and all that, uh, what happens is that uh, when the audience, you keep the audience on the edge, wanting to listen to what you want to see. Mm. It, and, and after that, you slide in, okay, to your offer. Okay, right. Because you right, get, you right. get, you get what I mean, right? Uh, you yep. see, so you slide into your offer, you see. Right. Uh, then and that is where after we, we we come up with the story, we come up with the story angle. Then towards the, the 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 third quarter of it, you know, and that is where the agent may come in. Okay. Then the agent may be maybe begin pitching and all that. Yep. Right. Well, today these things can be prevented. It right? presents that personal so, bond from the viewer. Bond, exactly. You know, so for the viewers, that, uh, you're right. You're right. So you see, when yeah. when uh, when we come up with such kind of contents, you see, uh, when the story is unique. It keeps the audience, you know, wanting to listen. Okay, if something is too common, people just switch it off. Mm. But if it's something that, that they can bring them, you know, from one point, you know, to another point, one point to another, of course, we've added B-rolls and all that, right? Then after that, you know, the 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 audience, okay, would tend to stay longer. Mm. And by the time they are glued to it, and by the time you slide into your offer, 
you know, they'll just hang on to every single word because the whole essence of it, the first front, I mean, the first three quarters of it, it's not about selling, it's about telling a story. Right. And that is what, you know, uh, the, the market expects, you know, from you. They want to be entertained. Whether if it's going to be humorous, if, it's, if it comes from an angle of, of an advertisement, I start to sell and all that by telling you, what if you would, would you like to know this? Would you like to know that and all that? Yeah. Most of the time, people will just switch off. Mm. Just want to quickly slide in from the technical angle, sure. if you don't mind, Chad. I mean, you, it sure. sounds like, a, you know, well-produced advertisement, as in like a video advertisement, which is it involves certain productions and all that. Or is right. it possible to be done on our own? I mean, if we were to be, if we were to pick up any skills or any techniques or any clues from here, um, does it has to be something that, you know, I have to go through all the storytelling that with the casting and everything with the proper shooting and all you that? Know, or can I just come over and tell the story myself? No problem. You see, all you need to do is just to have a camera, okay, a tripod stand, a camera. You can be talking to the camera and all that because why? The frame, the scene frame can always be adjusted. It cannot, it cannot, you can always uh, edit it. You, you get what I mean? Yeah. Right. Uh, but still, if you have two cameras, two handphones, you know, one from uh, B, one is from A front and all that, you know, right? Uh, but uh, you see, when when a person can relate, you know, the content by talking to the camera and all that, by, by, telling, uh, by telling the audience about what they've been through, Okay, but more importantly is for every, uh, I would say for every um, uh, point, you know, of the story, it's best that, you know, that is intercepted with a B-roll. You know, you lace it with a B-roll. Mm, B-roll as in like, you know, right. okay, okay. I have fall, you know, I, and I fall badly, you know, and my life sink, you know. They can actually show, you know, something like, you know, a, a, a I mean, like you may be a set journey of some representation of that representation the message. Of that, yeah. that message you see yeah. right Masha, uh, in your in your experience have you tested a well-produced video compared to a raw video i.e basically somebody just pick up the phone mm -hmm. and record mm -hmm. without any major i mean it doesn't look like it's well it is edited professionally and you mm -hmm. know well lighted and all that stuff Okay. Compared to a well-produced video, how's the how's the uh, conversion or how's the any 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 level in terms of results? Okay. Um, all right. Uh, firstly, we have never. Uh, I mean, for based on like, you see, video production. Uh, you know, uh, something can be very costly as well. You know, for yeah. uh, for uh, I mean, for uh, small uh, business owners. Okay, then uh, they may find that it may not be a necessity, especially when they have a small budget. Hmm. Correct. Correct. Okay. That's right. right. Uh, yeah, they may, have, but they may have a small budget. So, uh, if you're gonna ask me, okay, in terms of the statistics, you know, uh, whether uh, a mobile phone production or a camera production and all that, yeah, okay, which one tend to have better results, right? Nowadays, yeah, the mobile phone that we are using is super high end. Yep. Right. The quality, yep, the quality, quality is strong enough. You see, uh, and if you were to increase a little bit, okay, the color grading of it, you can have something equivalent, mm. okay, to a DSLR or maybe a mirrorless camera. Uh, yes. Uh, you, I you agree. Can, yeah. you, know, you see, so I what's agree. most important is the editing and of course the sound for it. You see, if you were to use uh, like a wireless Go, you know, mic, or maybe perhaps, you know, you uh, if you have a Lavelle mic, you can actually pocket out all the, the noises and all that. It reduces the noises greatly. Yeah. yeah, it can come out with something quite equivalent mm. okay, to, to how a, a DSLR camera you know, may, may record. Correct. Just want yeah. to quickly pick up another question over here. Sorry, Dr. Andrew. I mean, yeah. All your questions, sure. you don't forget that, right? What is the good length of a video? As in like, if you are, I mean, I, I, uh, I understand good that one. we are That's going to use one. it for advertisement, okay. right? Yeah, I don't think a 10 minute thing is going to work on you, uh, on Facebook, uh, not even YouTube, uh, I think, because people don't, yeah, maybe on YouTube, okay. maybe. So, yeah. you see, normally, you know, it's like about two and a half minutes, three minutes, you right. see, but it depends on the story also, it depends on the story, you see, uh, but of course, you see, we try to keep it down, you know, within three minutes, uh, you know, that uh, just giving a, a bit of the scenario and all that explain a little bit okay yeah. then uh, building the emotional content and all that uh, inside yeah. it and after that we slide in okay normally by the second minute we try to slide in with the offer yeah. i mean let, let let me hold you there because it sounds like something cheesy that i think like the audience is really interested to find out 
how many minutes for prayer pm how many minutes for the like when should we slide in the order can you quickly just give us a little bit of the clue okay. of the whole Maybe structure pack, you know what you can actually <laughs> offer is like about two minutes you know two minutes then maybe by okay. the by the, uh, by the uh, second minute you can actually start to talk about your offer slide into your offer you know okay. basically you know uh, what I, I always prefer what I always like is to keep it to keep it simple you know not to make it you know over complex and all that of course right. you know sometimes you know you can't actually uh, edit much you know uh, and of course you see you need to have right the, to, to have the right kind of content so maybe perhaps you know to present the video in a right kind of manner. Yeah. You get what I mean, right? Sometimes, of course, we don't deny that you know that it extended extended a little bit, okay. But it depends, and and it depends on you know what is the story angle like. Okay. Some videos you can't cut short, you know, the stories and all that. Like one of my clients here, I can actually show it. Uh, I mean, I can uh, the the video over here. We extended it, you know, close to about four minutes and all that. You want to bring it up, or you are we supposed to? You know, are we allowed to? I do not know. If you want to, why not? I, can just, I, I don't mind. Look, I don't mind. Because, bit, yeah. I mean, just this is really the good learning. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, and then, uh, but before the video, I think I want to pre preempt people a little bit, right? You know, Shah is mm. going to give us a real case study on how to do video storyboarding. <laughs> so if you are really interested, don't leave and ask your questions. Remember, I think what's really important here is, you know, we want to actually get a most from our guesses. Like I say, I'm a student and you're a student and let's learn from our expert today. Yes. Any questions at all that you have about video storyboarding, please bring them in. But before Shad, I want to hold you there a little bit. Mm, we have a good. question from Chiwai, which is our uh, first marketer. That dude is uh, our friend. Uh, finally. Now, Chiwai is driving today. I just no posted wonder. the question back into the so-called uh, uh, the, the, our, our Zoom, oh, Zoom discussion over here. Okay. Uh, Zoom Zoom chat, you can read it mm, from there. Mm. So Chiwai, I pinned it on, uh, on Facebook already. You guys can take a look. Mm. So uh, Chiwai is asking, what are the challenges when it comes to coming up with the storyboard upon receiving brief from client? Is it always false type or, you know, at the clients on the direction or is it up to you to convince them that it's, you know, That's that less is more sometimes. So oh. this is the question from Chi Wai. And, you know, after uh, Shah's answer, then we're going to bring up, you know, the example yeah. video that Shah has prepared yeah. for us. And Chi Wai okay, runs an agency. So it's coming from agency. Oh, great. All right. Great. Okay. Um, Chiwa, thanks for asking in the first place. Okay. So um, normally for, for, for us, you see, uh, clients, you know, they, they may not have the marketing expertise the way I always look at it. And that's the number one reason why we are engaged, you see. And of course, you see, uh, meeting the expectation and all that, you know, what they want and they try to set the direction. So normally what I do is, okay, I set the control down there, you know, by, by putting in our expertise to advise the, the client on the right angle, by putting in our experience and all that inside. You see, because we both are trying to meet, you know, the same goal. The goal is to win, to help them to win. You yeah, see, right. and clients, they come in from a client's angle. They may not understand much from the marketing, angle, especially on the social media marketing spaces. They may perceive that social media may be the same as offline advertisement. And that is where, you know, the, the wrong angle comes in. Mm, you see, and, and, and on social media, on social media and all that, you can't be... Uh, promoting your campaign, like how you do it on, on radio, how you do it on on uh, on newspaper, you know, on or some other or offline platform and all that, you know, because social media marketing is more to, you know, it is more to adding the soul for it. I always look at it that way. What I mean by adding the soul for it, yeah, okay, is you know it it cannot be positioned as selling, okay, as onto selling. It's always a soft selling approach. Right, like you create a vibe first, you know, for it, you create the buzz, you create a story based content. You, you get what I mean, yeah, right? Yeah. Of course, make people relate to it, and only then, you know, uh, when someone's they able to relate and connect, and we you present you slide in the solution what you've been doing for your client, then that is where someone okay, they uh, speak. So, I interrupt a bit. So, basically, uh, can I say that uh, people lose attention very quickly? So you're trying to hook on the first five seconds, hook, yeah. hook on the 10 seconds, hook on the 15 right, seconds, right. hook on. And by then, you have established a common thread, as in common understanding precisely, between, precisely. between the video and the audience. Then precisely. confidence can be built on top of that. Then finally, your CTA. True. To keep it distinct, CTA, right? Which is true. Which is I true. think in a way, I think Shark has his uh, framework. I think what we can actually pick up from here, Chiwai, and uh, coming from a fellow agency, although I don't take clients yeah. anymore, I guess it's really important for us to have a framework when we are talking to client. Like Shad has a framework. So when, when, when a client comes over and try to take over, I mean, definitely, I'm not saying that the client is wrong. It's just yeah. that the client has their own expectations and they are kind of like 
not familiar with the scene that we are in exactly. right now. So what we are trying to do here is we want to try to convince them, but we can't try to just, you know, crash with them, you see. So I guess exactly. a framework is good. You know, when we have a framework and we are able to just tell the client that, look, this is what we have been doing, you know, mm -hmm. and then, you know, we want to actually do like that. I think that would actually do, make the whole communication so much, so much easier. I think that's what Shad is meaning over here. I noticed that in terms of commercial videos, um, our friends up north, which is in Thailand, mm -hmm. they, they are pretty, they are very, <laughs> very good in, uh, in storytelling videos. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, very high on the emo level. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's not very flashy. Mm -hmm. Does it, it's, is, that a, is that a fair? I, but uh, it, no, that's what I noticed. Uh, okay, if you were to look at it, you know, uh, the if you to, to look at you know the Thai agency, the TV productions and all that, the way they do it, it's yeah. more on drama base. Hmm. You get yes. what I mean, right? Uh, they they create, you know, they they, they create the, the the sketch, you know, is the whole team, you know, how it was it was uh it was managed and all that kind of things. Yes. Okay, but uh, it is not present okay the right kind of you know emotional selling point you know out of it. You know, people are basically uh, seated down there or maybe watching it is because of the emotions that is deriving out of it. Right, the drama of it, I think. So it becomes an entertainment rather than anything else. Yeah, entertainment, okay. But if you're talking about a product shoot selling point and all that, it is not being spoken down there. They may be drawn in, okay, on a message. Maybe perhaps the use of that platform is totally different. You can't even apply it, you know, on a social media platform. But I'm yet to see, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not uh, giving my, my, um, I, I'm not giving, you know, my, my two cents worth, you know, on it or here, because I'm yet to see a Thai advertisement on social media space like in Facebook and all that. You see, um, and of course, if, you, if I have the chance, you know, if I have to explore on it and all that, maybe perhaps, you know, I may come to a decision. Hmm. Yeah, but maybe so I should just try on drama angle and all. We've not tried drama that. angle. I yeah. agree because what I think, Shad, I agree with Shad over here because we don't want to, we don't want to actually attract the wrong audience. Yeah, exactly. Like today, I was just having a discussion because I, I, you know, I still have a lot of coaches as in my like coaching clients and all that. You know, uh, uh, on a weekly basis, we look at the advertisement and all. I mean, last week we launched one ad. And mm -hmm. the ad is really uh, very much on the kind of like very much skewed towards the uh, in entertainment instead of the in information angle. Mm -hmm. You know, can you imagine five percent click to rate CTR all as in like oh, people wow. do click and watch the video five bloody percent, but okay, CTR but... link click zero point four percent. That's pretty bad. That's that's yeah. screw up. That's screw mm -hmm. up. Yeah. So that okay. actually is one of the very classic example of you know and and an advertisement that attracts the wrong crowd. So you just basically help Facebook attract content, provide yeah. content for Facebook. So people love it, people watch it, people share and all this, but the yeah. click through rate, hence the cost per lead and everything was like very, very high. So that's that's one of the very classic example. Mm -hmm. So in that case, I agree with Shai, we don't want to pick up the wrong audience. So can I add one more thing? Because I, I personally watch a lot of Japanese and American commercial. I think so you example, same thing. <laughs> Japanese, uh, okay. Japanese and, and American. So if we have something very viral, like say example Gundam style, if you imagine Gundam style come out, we do it all the way, then suddenly change totally a CTA of totally not related to Gundam style. Then it's very popular, it's very viral, it's shared a lot, a lot of people, but it's the wrong audience. So it, it doesn't help. Lah. But the client I don't think it helps. Huh? Client will say, hey, good one. Everybody know my brand at the end one. But it's totally I, mean, I think this is totally arguable. I think this is arguable because mm. definitely brand client would love this. Uh, you see, Ugandan style, da, 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 because I, imagine we haven't seen Ugandan style before. Everybody laugh, everybody share. Mm. But totally then, at the end, the CTA, you know, a lot of American and Japanese commercial, at the end, mm. totally not related one of uh, yeah. ABC <laughs> pillow. Right. Thai, is almost, thai is almost the same uh, Thai. Yeah. Thai is almost the same. Of, a lot of what, their what, what do you think about this kind of uh, commercial? Yeah, Shad, kind of like yeah, I think I think if it's not a line, uh, definitely you not be you you won't be able to draw the audience, you know, correctly. You may have a lot of you know, it may go viral and all that, you know, those kind mm. of uh, video ads may go viral. But if the message is not aligned to the product, how do you mm. sell? Mm. Because so by I right, agree. the message has to be aligned with the product, you know. So uh, you know, if if it's totally, you know, out of context, you see, how do you sell the product? Because in the first place, you're not fitting in the right information. Right. You so see? I guess, I mean, like, create curiosity, like, in, like people may yeah. go online and search yeah. for you and all yeah. that, but the conversion may not be there. You, the, the you introduction may be. Yeah. So, so I guess the uh, two questions that you want to ask the client or pros prospective client is, do you want brand awareness? So you, if they want brand awareness, then that Gangnam style or something that, that people viral and all that stuff will work. Or do you want money in the bank? 
So if you yeah. want money in the bank, then the style of video should be, should be different. basically really relational, be build that bond whereby they actually take an action rather than they watch and say, okay, I like this, this, you know, have you seen this video and that's for it. They will remember the content of the video, but they will forget who actually produced it or basically what company was that. Actually, I agree with that because the moment, Andrew, you mentioned Thai, uh, huh. so many Thai things come to me. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's like those in, funny, the, the advertisement, yeah. funny advertisement and but all this. But forget the company. But I never remember any of the products. You, yeah, you won't remember the products and all that. Yeah. Yeah. None, zero, bloody so, zero. So, like, so if they want brand awareness or they want viewership, then you give no, them something. Not even brand awareness. Uh, I don't remember the product. No, How do basically, you give awareness? That means in terms of, well, if you're an agency, you tell them, okay, X thousand of people view your video. La. So yeah, as far as yeah, the client yeah. is concerned, okay, la, people see the video, they should know, la, you know. So either you give them a Michael Bay production kind of video that you spread like fire, but basically does nothing to your bottom line. La. Yeah, I think, That's yes. Like I one think... more thing. Uh, yep. Andrew actually passed, passed me the video, the $1 shave. I think, Shah, I saw it before, I had $1 shave where the guy walked through the whole factory. Um, dollar Shave Club, uh, uh, dollar, dollar Shave Club, yeah, a Dollar Shave Club. That About 10, was, 10 years ago already. Uh. Yeah, yeah, that one, not bad. Uh. That one is related to the topic, but he uses a lot of props and tricks uh, to yeah. get people's attention so that you can keep on watching and giving you reason why. That one, I think, is a reasonable attempt. Yeah. You have the video, you want to play it over here, but before that, chat. Oh, sure. Yeah, we're waiting, waiting for your video. video. You're not sure, yeah. no problem. Okay, okay so before that, that, sorry, sorry, content, sorry. Yeah? Okay. sorry, I cut a little mm -hmm. bit because we do have a lot of people, who, 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 I mean, uh, uh, listening on podcasts. Mm -hmm. So if you're listening on podcasts, this is really a video that Shad is showing us. So mm -hmm. if you want to watch the video, head over to my Facebook page or my YouTube channel or Manfred's YouTube channel or actually Andrew's YouTube channel that you can actually watch the full video, right? Remember how many minutes you're in right now and go over to the video and watch up to the minute. So Shad, you're Okay, up. let's go. Okay, so... Um... We share the... Okay, good, good, Yeah, good. you can share the okay. screen. Over here. Yeah, so let me just... Ahead. Yeah, let me just... I'm not sure. Up. Are we able to play the sound? Now? I think it should be okay. Let's try. Let's try and see. Let's, Let's try, try and see. see. Let's try and see. Time I do this. Yeah. If not, then later we'll just put a link to the... Yeah. To the chat or Facebook. You guys can see, right? Over here? Yes, yes, we can see it. We can okay. see it. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Okay, one moment, yeah. Sure. Well, in the meantime, while we're waiting for Sean, you can... Uh, to put okay, out the video, you guys can ask your yeah. questions or post up your yep, questions. Yep. Okay, Shad is ready. Come, uh, let's go. Yeah, can you, can you see right now? Yes, we can see it up. This is yeah, about this. four minutes. It's closing into four minutes. Okay, it's 3.5, yeah. 6. Let's you know. go. Yes, yeah. My let's dad see this. made a wrong property decision many years ago and it cost him a million dollars. 15 years ago, my dad sold his HDB property in Tampines. With the proceeds, he purchased another HDB property in Haukang. Can you hear right? Which he fully paid for. In fact, this scenario is a likely scenario many people from the last generation would be opting. The impressions our fathers had before, the faster I pay off my HDB, the better it will be. That was their mindset then. Honestly, I grew up thinking one day I were to own a property. Ideally, I'm looking forward to paying it off fully with my CPF. Till one day, my dad informed me if he were to sell his current flat to downsize, he will get zero profits from the sale proceeds despite having fully paid his house. Years later, after I stepped into the real estate industry, I realized the mistake my dad made. If he had made the right property decision 15 years ago, he could have retired with at least $1 million in savings today. The fact of this reality weighed heavily on me seeing my dad needing to work at the age of 65 years old. Hi, my name is Sheikh Parvin, and I'm an associate director with Orange Tea. My dad's mistake is similar to what is happening right now with a lot of them. Whenever I speak to my clients, I hear their main goal. I want to fully pay off my housing loan. And we are talking about hundreds and thousands of dollars that needs to be returned as a crude interest to CPF years later. Like my dad, they thought their achievements are marked with a fully paid house. Honestly, this strategy is pretty much outdated and there are far better ways to navigate the right property path that can help anyone to grow their wealth, starting with their HDB. It's always the first house we own that offers the best start. Like a homeowner who bought a BTO, and they would have made anywhere up to 250,000 profit when it reaches MOP. The last few years, I've been advocating why HDB homeowners, if they are earning a combined income of 6,000 per month, their best option is to buy a condo. However, 
Many don't realize with a household income of $6,000, they can acquire an $800,000 mortgage that can easily secure a condo which has a better selling value after MOP with no cash top up, if not little. Do you know if you buy a new condo, the price will increase anywhere from 10 to 20% once they decide to sell in a few short years? That is hundreds and thousands of dollars in profit and ready cash in your hands. Like my clients, they set aside these proceeds for a partial deposit payment for their next private property or refinance to own a second private property. Though it may seem to be unrealistic and how it can be possible to upgrade and create wealth, this scenario is the perfect strategy on how anyone can retire very comfortably. Just think of how many times the process can be repeated if someone acquires a private property at 30 years old and can profit from it every five years. But sadly, this is the golden goose my dad missed with his wrong decision. Had he taken the right decision many years ago, he would not need to work today if he is aware how it can be done many years ago. I know I can't change what's in the past, and that is why I chose to help my clients optimize the right property strategy today so they and their families can accumulate wealth faster and have no more financial worry. I'm thankful today my team and I have helped hundreds of households discover the right formula for wealth creation and have sufficient funds for their children's future education, wedding and retirement. Awesome. Awesome. Well done. Awesome. Well done. I think this is this is awesome. Now, um, uh, GTA, the handphone number. Yeah. And the so the CTA, correct. I mean, this, this oh. looks very doable even at home, right? Yeah, precisely. And in fact, this video, we haven't even fully edited it yet. Okay. You see, we haven't even complete on the color grading. Okay. Mm -hmm. My team haven't complete on it. You know, it's still on okay. the raw copy. We we'll still haven't matched much on the uh, B rule and all that. You know, we haven't finalized on it. Okay, we we'll just on plain editing and all that for it. Wow. Yes, so yeah, we haven't even finished completing it. It's just a we we it's just a story base that we we came up with first. Okay, then trying out you know a few B rolls and all that. Then uh, slowly you know fix on the right one. Mm. So I think it's more like uh, I I it's, I I like I, I, this is what I pick up right for the benefit. Let me lay it down and help our audiences understand a little bit. I, I guess we all start with the problem. And then we do a little bit of a more explanation on the problem. And then after that, we bring in the solution. And I can see that your duration is about, you know, you spend about half, half a minute to a minute to take, talk about the problem. And then yeah. another one talking about, you know, the solution. And halfway at one and a half minutes, uh, you know, then you do a quick introduction about the person. So in a way, if you drop out halfway, you still pick up who is the person. You know, and somehow or another. Then after that, uh, then you punch it a little bit with the stronger solution at the back. Now... Uh, you say this is a new video, right? So we don't have much data on this thing. Mm. Yep. Okay. 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 Cool. Cool. I like it. I like it. So problem. Th th there is a problem. There is a solution. You should pick my solution and CTA. You see, normally this kind of uh, video story, um, this kind of video storyboard, yeah. Okay. That is that starts off with uh, you know uh, that that is quite emotional and all that before start. It tend to have a lot of engagement. You tend to get more people sharing it because why it's unique. It comes mm. from someone's life experience. Mm. And a life experience for a person is truly unique and all that because it cannot be replicated for another one. And which is which is on a safe side for the agent because they're coming with a new story. See where, where we are looking at right now? Yep. You see, and what is unique? And this is all about you know creating the bus, the right kind of bus, and capturing someone's attention. So if you're probably looking at, you know branding okay if probably looking at branding okay you're looking at brand awareness and all that people will be able to strongly relate so if let's say if the agent is being very consistent we keep on running the same advertisement for a longer period of time okay then basically okay uh they'll be able to actually get the right kind of traction you know mm. uh, from the audience because it is also packed with the right kind of solution that the audience wants to hear a mm. problem come with a solution too mm. Now, I, I pick up a few questions coming from Richard. Richard, Richard, very smart. One shot, three questions. Huh? So I'm just going to post <laughs> it back. I'm going to post it back into, yeah. into the chat first. So uh, yeah, while we are we're... waiting for, we, we, we let Shad read a little bit, you know. So these are a few, uh, quite a number of questions, okay. three questions over here. And I already pinned it on the chat over here. So Shad, you take your time. So remember, for everyone who's watching this, hmm. you're actually yeah. watching the Three Marketer Show. Oh, if you're not sure what is this all about, right? Yeah. Uh, this is where we go live every Wednesday night at 10 p.m. to share, to discuss. I, it's no longer us sharing anymore. It's now all the guesses coming in. So 
yeah, this is where we actually discuss one digital marketing related topics every week. So in, you can actually go back to our YouTube channel and Facebook page to look at all the previous episodes. They are all there. We have very interesting topics ranging from uh, SEO, SEM, copywriting. What was that? Then we have video storyboarding and then we have uh, Shopify selling. So many of them. Yes. So if you really want to actually get a head start in terms of learning about the, what is really from the expert in terms of digital marketing on specific topics, go over and check it out. And if you have, I just want to quickly do a shout out to our audiences. If you have anyone that you want us to interview, if you have any topic that you want us to cover, can you please share with us as well? You can actually type into the comment anything. Yes. Uh, I'll pick up all the comments and I would like to learn from you on what are the things that you would love to learn. So that's how we learn together, right? Now, uh, over We are expanding to... our universe. Yeah, the yeah. question one looks like IG video, uh, 60 yeah. seconds. Uh, precisely. precisely. Yeah, let's take a look. You yeah, see, yeah, because so... if, you are to, if you are to refer to IG, okay, of course, the video needs to be trimmed, okay, but with trim, okay, we missed out the story. So right. technically speaking, okay, if you're referring to IG and all that, you have to keep it within uh, 60 minutes. I mean, within 60, 60 seconds. seconds. Yeah. 60 60 seconds. seconds. Okay. Uh, yeah, trim it, you know, below, below 60 seconds. So basically, the way I look at it, Contents for IG has got to be very different as, you know, contents on FB because whatever contents you're putting in on FB, you know, you will not be able to run it because if it exceeds one minute, mm. okay. you see, right? Uh, you know, so uh, if you're talking about uh, that uh, angle of distribution, I think you're referring to IG. So, TikTok also, yeah. uh, TikTok also 60 seconds. Yeah, what TikTok about actually, seconds. yeah. So, so how, how, how about we trim it as in like we break it into multiple and then we sequence it. We sequence the ad. I mean, uh, is that possible? You you'll break the story. You'll you will break, break the story. You'll break the story. But I think uh, I think with IG, I notice is what they do is they use the sixty seconds sort of like a trailer, so mm -hmm. that if you want to watch more, then you can swipe up over every day and it goes to IGTV. So the it's format has to be slightly to number altered. Of followers, uh, in order to do yeah. that. Yeah. Correct. The, the, yeah. Does it work uh, that way? Okay, the way I look at it, yeah, you know, uh, if you're mentioning like about a trailer or maybe perhaps you know an intro video and all that, yeah, sixty seconds, okay, a short intro video, maybe yes. lesser than that, just, just okay, to hook them, to capture exactly to capture the audience awareness, you know, on 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 IG. Yep. Yeah. You see? So the thing is that okay, that platform can actually be used, you know, uh, those who watch thirty seconds, those who watch the intro and all that. So technically speaking, is that okay? Then when they're on IG, but when they log on to Facebook. Mm. That platform can be used to be retargeted wherever you extract the data, you know, then uh, once people are intro, like a trailer and all that, okay, but then this time around, okay, there's a follow-up or maybe there's a sequence, okay, to the actual short uh, short scene they're actually they're actually seeing. You see, so yeah. if, you, if you're talking like maybe about 30 seconds, you know, intro down there on an IG video, then when you retarget them, you know, on Facebook, whereby that's where the full impactful video and all that is created. So you have already, you know, reached out to a warm audience down there. And you keep on, you know, getting them to be engaged. And then now they know what is the content of the story all right. about. Okay. Yeah, right. uh, that's one of the, the, the you know, it, it, it. so I prefer, you know, the kind of role, okay, whereby we, I, I will put it across as we warm the audience, you know, throughout the stages, you know, throughout the buying stages and all that, yeah. Okay. We yeah. warm them up, you know, face by face. Right. 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 Awesome. And especially awesome. when, when, uh, when on, on uh, when people watch videos and all that, you know, and cost uh, to watch, a, to view a video is super cheap, to be honest with you. Hmm. So you, you know, would go for video view for this thing? I mean, a bit technical related okay. to Facebook advertising. <laughs> okay. uh, it, you know, it depends, uh, okay, it depends, yeah. Okay, but right. uh, for your information, okay, most of the time, because we are doing conversion campaigns, yeah. Right. Okay. okay, we look at you know results for results. Dollar in right. how many dollars out. I see. So, right. You know, so if you're gonna do on video, uh video view, so it depends, you know, on the client's budget as well. Right, right. 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 It's gonna right. be direct conversion, okay. Or we're gonna look at they have the extra budget. Okay, let's warm it, okay. Let's uh increase the, the database and all that, you know. But normally so, for, for what I do is you go for what you want first. Even yeah. yeah, you try first, then there's a benchmark. You know roughly, uh, unless you, you have done it many, many times already, you know the benchmark. Uh. Yeah, benchmark. So the thing is that, you know, even, um, you see, um, if you're looking at, you know, uh, warming the audience, uh, you know, by going on video views and all that, you know, the size of the data has got to be huge. If you're just warming up 50,000 and all that, I better don't waste the money. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I yeah you know, so I mean, from, but at the end of the day, I mean, we do, you know. 
<laughs> what I, agree, I agree. <laughs> I agree. I agree because the moment you go for video view, right? This is what we actually experimented in our previous campaigns. The, not just our campaign, our clients' campaigns as well. The same video, we go for a conversion, and then uh, the other one, we go for video view. We set up the same thing, which is all lead back to the over to, to, to the website, mm -hmm. and we see totally different thing because those people who are re really into viewing video are not those people who are really into something. So you got to be really clear. I agree with Manfred. You got to be really clear about what you what you really right. want. The objective, the goals. Because right, I, think, right. uh, I mean, the, the, your ads, you know, will be shown to, um, I mean, to different behaviors, you know, of your audience. Correct. correct. You see? So that, that uh, leads to the good. next. Yeah, sorry, yeah. sorry, Shad. I, I, I sure interrupted. No, 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 it's okay. It's okay. okay. I'm cool with that. You know, yeah, so I, I mean, just they, 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 they just will be showing your ads, you know, to different audience, you know, that's just about it. You know, uh, if like mm. video views, you know, it's going to be shown to people who likely be watching the video for a longer period of time. That's right. That's right. That's right. Well. That's right. And you might get the wrong audience because people who watch video may not be interested in you. They're just interested. Yeah, so that goes to the next question over mm -hmm. here. Uh, Richard was asking, would tactics such as preview behind the scenes or teasers uh, be good to build anticipation and gauge how to best engineer the distribution factor? I think, I think okay. Richard's angle is very much on the distribution. And distribution is really about using the organic, I said, I guess. But when we run ads, we don't have a distribution issue, right? Yeah. Because when we run ads and all that, there's no there's no issues. Because if you look at you know yeah. uh, organics and all that, you know you you see uh, if you're talking about distribution, when you run ads, you know, because uh, if it's distribution based on like Instagram has got you know a different level of distribution, or Facebook has got a different uh, percentage of distribution. But what I do know is that uh, of course you see there's no specific data that says that some parties will say that you know on on Instagram whatever your followers you know you can have your organic reach like about five to ten percent. On Facebook is lesser than two percent, so it all depends on you know on uh, on the value you know they the first the first uh, I mean the first few percentage you know people who are good who interact with you who often interact with your posting. It right, depends whether right, right. are they engaging whether are they catching on on it or not. Agree, okay, agree. and of course but bottom line, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, because I was just saying, but bottom line, we're using this for ads, right? We're not using it for organic. We're not hoping to to use organic reach to get our objective met. Yeah, because for me, if let's say if it's if it's for paid advertisement, you know, um, you know, I mentioned earlier on that uh, if it's for preview or maybe perhaps trailer and all that, that will keep it between uh, maybe thirty seconds and we do it on my IG. Okay, but if you're talking about preview behind the scene or teasers and all that, right? Uh, I don't think that that you can actually position it correctly to sell a product. Mm. Okay, so if you're probably looking at you know, uh, I don't. This is just my feel to it. You know, uh, it's just how I feel about it. Uh, that uh, if you're talking like teasers. You know, maybe behind the scene and so on, right? Um, if for that kind of that, that kind of stuff, I would rather put it, you know, just on my post or on my wall, my business page wall. You know, uh, you just put it down there, you know, as an added value content, right? Mm. But if you do do it, looking at money to money, what is the connection over here? If you're going to put a behind the scene and all, what is the connection? The actual connection, okay, through the product that you're selling. Yeah, I, I, I saw I a lot of uh, property Lim brothers, the Soho behind the scene they filmed the thing. Honestly, yeah. I think when the audience saw it, it does not really contribute to their bottom line. Uh. Just yeah. unless you are a fan, you really like to watch more. Uh. But you want to turn this around to add value. Correct. Unless I, it's, you are very interesting, uh, unless you are a Star Wars fan behind the scene, your, your brand is so big. Uh, uh, that people want to catch. Uh, people want to right, find right, out. You know, how do you do? You, you create a scene and so on and all that. But I guess you, you can use right, those right. just to like Charles say to fill up the content gap. Yeah, fill up the content gap. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Okay. Then Let's I want to bring up one very important. Yeah, I want to bring up one. I mean, the third one is really about really very much going into distribution already. I guess. Oh, I see. Okay. This so will we be cover that, very right? much on the distribution. So I think we cover that because what we're actually trying to do here is we're going to use the ads to run. I mean, we're going to use the video to run ads. Richard, I hope you. You, you get what I, what, what I mean over here, but thanks for the yeah. questions. Now, I want yeah. to bring up one very important question that everybody wants to know, mm -hmm. right? Um, for a beginner... How, mu how much does that charge? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, that's one thing. That's okay. one thing. But, yeah. but how do yeah. I start as a beginner? How do I start? And what do I need to have? As in, like, what are the tools or equipment yeah. or anything that I need? How do yeah. I start? As okay, I think what you need, you know, uh, right now, okay, uh, there's, there, first things first is... A mobile phone is good enough, you know, for a start. You see, if you want to get, you know, yourself warm up or a DSLR camera like, you know, a Sony A6300. But then, of course, that will cost like about, uh, I think Malaysia is about 4,000 ringgit. 
4000 yes. about 4000 you know uh that, that is a pretty decent camera that can actually produce you know a quite you know quality video you see uh you need to know okay you need to be able to have some video uh video editing skills just a little bit we'll do a basic one which you can use uh softwares like i mean adobe adobe premiere is going to be like uh it's going to be someone like you on a production stage really Okay, but uh, if let's say you're just starting, okay, you want to familiarize yourself using MacBook, okay, iMovie, that's good enough, okay, right? I, I, I vote for iMovie, but premium also. Yeah, okay, or you know, Filmora, you see, yes, those are based on the, on, the, on the basic level and all that, but you can come up with a pretty decent shot, okay, the reason is because they're able to move the frames, mm. you see, and when you start, when you're able to, when you have the ability to actually move the frames and all that, and the picture don't look static, static. What we don't want is to have a movie or maybe a, an ad that looks static so as if you're talking to the person, it looks very boring. The audience will just switch it off. Yeah. You get what I mean, right? So even though if it's a, going to be a front shot, you know, uh, you can always, you know, move the frames, you know, around and all that. Okay, you can always, you know, arrange, you know, or you can actually uh, do the kerning and all that, you know, uh, to ensure that, you know, that uh, it's a moving scene all the time. At most, you just come closer to the camera and talk. Yeah, <laughs> that's too creepy already. That's too creepy. As, as long, yeah, as long as you know you're not being static, you know that's good enough. You know that's what you know. The attention is. span is roughly around five to seven seconds, so yeah. you have to keep changing. Precisely, you know the attention span is 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 very low. You know, and you, you remind me of one one guy. This uh PewDiePie, uh, he's famous for this one. He always constantly cut 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 cut. Always, because now we are so impatient. Uh, he always cut. Then he, the way he cut also quite attracts my attention. Also, uh. attract attention. Uh, you know. So normally, uh, for us, you know, uh, like we want to intro our company. Yeah. Okay. Like I was mentioning just now that I was mentioning just now like, the thirty seconds video, mm. and all that, right? Okay. That means we want to reach out more to the IG audience and all. Okay. Then uh, they they watch about thirty seconds and we really target them you know, to a full video, you know, of, of our company. That means to warm up the audience first. Mm. So can I just share a screen? Mm. Sure. Can just share please. one of the uh, videos here. Yeah. Please, 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 please. Come over. Oh, yeah, you're ready. Yeah, okay. you should be. Yeah, it's good. Come. All right. You guys can see, yeah? Mm. Okay, yes. Okay. Okay, good. I'll just give you one one example, you know, uh, over here. Okay. Okay. Sometimes. Yeah, no, this is not the one. Uh, one minute, yeah. It's okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, meantime, uh, just to share, actually, sometimes when you film under the sun, it's the best option because sun, sunlight is the best. No need to buy the ring but light. Film under the sun, hot yeah. die you, how do you uh, do filming? Hot, <laughs> but the, the lighting is, is good enough. <laughs> The other thing is, uh, when I do iMovie, I like to use the band sound, bandsound.com. Uh, they have a lot of uh, quite nice uh, music uh, score you can just put on the iMovie. That's how I do. I do some very simple videos uh, because I also need videos to do advertising also. So I wrote for, for iMovie for, yeah. iMovie, like, bandsound.com. It's, it's very heavy also, I think. Uh, yeah, I think Shad is ready. Come. Yeah. Okay, okay, let's go. All right. As you can see, it's only 26 seconds. Yeah. So it's something like this. Awesome. Wow. The pacing is good. Uh. Mm. Every time I cut, uh, a lot of my colleagues always keep saying that I, I'm like too long-winded, uh, too slow. Really. So it must be a hippie music. Uh. must be something. Boom, 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 boom. Wait, does it look like? Does it? Is it? Do you have music for this one? Sorry, can you guys hear the background? Yeah, no, we, we, we know. We, 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 can't hear, we, we, hear, we can't hear any music. We can't hear any music, We couldn't hear any music, but I'm sharing Shat's uh, okay. Facebook page on uh, on my page right now. So if yeah. you guys are interested to find out more about Shat, you can actually go over and take a look. Uh, I think uh, Shat has quite a number of That's not that video doesn't have audio. We can't hear any audio. Yeah, we, we also can't hear any audio, is it? Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. But uh, would you want me to try and play again? Oh, you can uh, you, we can, we, we can. it's just 20, 26 seconds, I think we're fine. Come. Yeah. yeah, okay. Let's try again and see. Mm, let's see. Nope. No audio. No, I go for my mic. Nope. No, no, no audio. Still no audio. Yeah, well, so I, I think like your right phone, so. Yeah, I think it's strong. I think it's good. It's good. You go for the mic, you can't hear. No. No, no. Something wrong, but I, yeah. I think it's okay. I think we get it because this one doesn't really need the audio because 
you know, the words itself and all that is really giving a very strong punch. Yeah, it's punchy. Right? <laughs> yeah, it's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. I like that. It, you know, so uh, you know, so maybe this this kind of videos normally we have it played, you know, on IG. Right. You know, warm to make the intro and all that, and right? Okay, so people know who we are. For those audience we're not reaching out to. All right. Okay, then after that, you know, and uh, then you retarget them back to Facebook. Them to Facebook. Exactly. Okay. Makes sense. Right. 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 Cool. Cool. Thanks. I mean, yeah, I don't have much questions anymore from on my end over here, Manfred. And no, my but, turn. But Manfred, or... like your turn. Come, my show turn, us yes. your wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So okay. basically, every week uh, we have a website of the week, and this is really on uh, Manfred's shoulder, lah, like, most of the time. But sometimes he gets crazy, he will back. pass it over to someone else. But today yeah. he has got something very interesting to share. Come over yeah, to you. Know, bring joke. Yeah, we, we wanted to share this on the Facebook ads library. Okay, this joke. If you if you look at the past few episodes, I've been talking about some some company trying to advertise to me. I, I think Shark never received this yet. Like, okay. <laughs> no, I've not. I've yeah. not. Uh, no, I've not. No, no, Shark. I no, it's, all the time. Shark, yeah. if you have seen it also, you say you have not. Huh? No, 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 no. <laughs> okay. I, uh, so, that. I, I went to his uh, Facebook ads library for some reason it has been taken down. So, but I nevertheless, I had captured some of the screenshots before they had taken down. So this is one of the ads. You can see from my uh, Explorer, right? So you see, uh, I, I really like the picture. And size doesn't matter if you're only in for a few minutes. Then no. <laughs> Singapore first discrete digital EV clinic. Uh. Mm. Okay. okay. I was very surprised actually they can advertise. No. Mm. I'm not sure whether they can advertise in the first place. Okay. I mean, Manfred, yeah. hold you a bit up. I mean, for those who are actually listening to the podcast, uh, this is Manfred showing some Facebook ads examples of yeah. uh, some very interesting ads. So yeah. if you really want to see this, you can go over to our YouTube channel to take a look at this. All right, just for the benefit of the audiences who are so, watching, who are listening. It's just a very simple image. It caught my attention. Then I read size doesn't matter. If you're in, okay, this one quite quite interesting lah. Okay, I, I don't want to read the copy. Okay, then the uh, it's okay. One, People can read. <laughs> the next one is this one. Okay, then try harder. Then mm -hmm. the banana. No one. Uh, very subtle. Very subtle. Yeah. But I was wondering if we have a a real banana, will it have better impact? This one. <laughs> okay, let's not go there. Okay. I, I don't let's know. Let's not go there. <laughs> what you mean, real banana? Uh, or banana? Anyway, yeah, real banana, yellow skin and uh, white flesh. Uh, okay, so this is one thing. <laughs> okay, and now the last time there's one more is actually a hot dog one, but I can't find the hot dog. Commercial. Okay, of course, lah. They want too okay, much then, already. So this one, this one also not bad. This one actually can we can apply. You we shave off the price so you don't have to shave your head. Uh, mm -hmm. For my attention, you see. Really, this this all these images is really thumb stopping image, no? Really interesting and, things caught your attention, huh? Yeah, top thumb, yeah. thumb stopping image. Then the first thing I will read the the lines within the the images. Now we have twenty percent read. Then the second thing I will read the brand first. Third thing I will see the like, comment, share. And then finally the copy the first few lines before I, I tap the see more to go in. We now know what how Manfred spends his spare time. Ah, and and a disclaimer, ah, this is really a Manfred's personal opinion. It doesn't reflect <laughs> all the three marketers' <laughs> opinion yeah. and all. But <laughs> so, guys, if you are interested to find out this company, no, no, N O A H, uh, they took down all the commercial already. So you only can see it in our Facebook Live. Yeah, if you want to see more of this, right, you can actually check out from uh, Manfred. You can PM him, whatever. You know, he has a lot of things over here. <laughs> <laughs> and Manfred collects a lot of... He was just saying that he actually sees a lot of these kind of ads, you know, uh, on, on his newsfeed. I have no idea. And Chiwa is laughing over there like, first yeah. thing in WoW, I see Bridget. Right, what the hell? Sweat file, sweat file, my sweat file. Yeah. Actually, yeah, sweat file, right? Yeah. So in the future, maybe if you want some inspiration to run ads for some very interesting products, huh? Which you know who to look for, lah. But you, you must understand you know, the yeah. video and images. You because a lot of people keep swiping, lah. Because the Facebook or IG is actually meant for entertaining yourself, or stay in connect with your friends and family. The sponsor ads are actually hijacking them, so you must have something to stop their thumb. The thumb stops the image or video. Yeah, yeah. Uh, pattern yeah. disruptor, pattern disruptor. Ah, uh, this is disruptor. Yeah. There's something, but there are also uh, says that uh, we are trying to be make the sponsor ads more like organic posts, ah. Uh. That's another way also, but you have to test out. Yeah. You see so much no use on test, then we know. I, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's basically. Cool, you know, yeah, uh, you see, because um, the way the way I look at it, you know, that uh, you see anything that captures attention is advertisement, honestly speaking. The yeah. way but on the second on the second part about it is that okay, capturing attention is one thing, 
Whether does it sell the product, you know, it's another thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So look at which goals they are looking at, you know, uh, and, and, you know, where where is the objective, you know, uh, arising from, you see, that is that is foremostly more important. Uh, because if for someone who looks at, you know, wanting to sell the product directly, like e-commerce, you know, they want to sell, I don't think that they want to come up with that kind of advertisement. You, you get yep. you, you get one because ultimately you know it will not sell you see uh, and and uh, but what I was thinking also at the same time they have that kind of investment so that you know they it is backed by you know a very powerful you know landing page and all that really nicely written and all okay so that you get the audience clicking and that is where you know they they, they start you know pitching on it mm. yeah right yeah. yeah. You know, so I think and that e-commerce is, a lot of times all the carousel ads are unique. Right. Right. White background straight away with the product and your best seller at the first one. Yeah. No I would say for it. video storyboarding, it's more powerful if you're selling something a little bit more complex. As in like you need to really get you to, to really prime and educate, you know, you need to involve a little bit of a nurturing and all that. So that will actually help you get the right audiences. Mm. Uh, uh, yeah, which is which is which is true, which is true, uh Jason, you see, because um you know, when it comes to uh, video storyboarding and all that, uh, you know, uh, you see what we are looking at, you know, is the nurturing process for the audience. Uh, you know, when someone pulls on, you know, to to your your video, okay, uh, they're more likely, you know, gonna click on your on your. Uh, they're gonna scroll through your page because the moment when they, when someone is watching the video after a while, they click on it, you know, the video will just keep on playing. Then the page will appear at the bottom. You get yep. you get you get you get what I mean, right? So yep. uh, yep. I mean. The it's a strong likelihood that they'll you know, be reading your content, you know. So that is the angle that what we want, you know. Uh, you see, because most of the time that we run the campaign is a dollar in, a dollar out, you know, kind of things. You know, how many dollars we can actually, you know, uh, skiff, you know, from the uh, particular campaign. Mm, you see, yeah. so uh, most of the time, you know, we are doing on conversion ads and all that. You know, I normally are very seldom, you know, we are running campaign like to raise awareness. To run on engagement ads and that kind of things and all that, you know, I, I, we, we don't do that because you know we are we are more to, um, you know, uh, looking at you know what the client you know expect out of the campaign. So you're looking at leads again. Okay, let's then let's do the best one, you know, for you. Yeah. You see, right? Uh, you know, and sure. yeah. Shad is a very practical video marketer. So he oh, doesn't he, focus on. No, he, he is more <laughs> on Facebook marketing. Video is just one of the portfolio only. Right. Yeah. So I'm on a portfolio here, right? Okay. Yeah. So um, the thing is that you see, uh, what we're looking at is when we run a campaign and all that, because when with the right kind of video, we you are able to influence the, the audience, you know. And the best part about it is that you see, you'll be able to reach out, you'll be able to reach out, you know, to a to to someone with a high interest. That is what we want. Mm. I, I notice the, the videos you have a little bit more inclination to have a bit more audio. Sometimes Facebook you don't really listen. So is that disadvantage? Imagine the property you want uh, if they don't turn on the audio. Uh, subtitles. Will, yeah, subtitles. the subtitles have okay, the yeah. captions. The captions is uh, embedded inside. Yeah, embedded inside. Uh, yeah. It's a must. La. Yeah. It's a must, definitely. Definitely. You must you must have that because um, you know, uh, we put it across, you know, the the if let's say uh, you, you have a video, you must have a subtitle, you know, to it. The reason is because uh, most of the time people, you know, they could be in public space, uh, places, they could be in the office and all that, mm. you know. If they, they can't open it, you know, too loud, they can't hear. So at least the titles that they can read. So in Ooh. your video storyboarding, the the story takes precedent over the visuals and the visuals are not basically just play the supporting role. So the story is a, the key point that you... Key point. Uh, the story time. is the key point, you know. Uh, I see, okay. With, uh, see, because it keeps the, the audience, okay, connected, you know, to uh, to what you intend to, uh, to the message that you intend to send out. Hmm. You see, so in short to say that, uh, you know, if um, like, for example, if someone tries to sell uh, too hard, like, for example, my, my client, if he tries to sell, you know, too hard, for example, by saying that, are you aware that if you own, a, I mean, are you aware that if you own a flat right now, you can easily upgrade if you're, if you, both of you, I mean, if, uh, if you have, uh, I mean, sorry, uh, you and a spouse earn $6,000 a month. You know, if they start off with that, they're going to kill because of that message is oversaturated. We want to deliver the same message as well. But then after that, it has to be masked okay, with the story. I see. Okay. Right. 
Show don't tell, tell la. Show don't tell. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. Awesome. 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 Thank you so much, Shad. I think yeah, we have just exceeded. It's already like one hour and nine minutes right now. I think mm -hmm. we learned a lot. We learned a great deal, especially when Shad. Uh, gives us a really practical and actionable steps. Even it gave us and gave us some example on how how we can actually do this for your own. So it really, literally, you don't need really need some high end equipment. Your phone is already good enough. But I guess uh, it all come back to what Andrew mentioned just now. You gotta really test. Uh, you know, you just put up something and then friends say that as well. You know, you have to put up and test eventually because a lot of times we think too much and I guess we just have to start doing it. And then when we yeah. put up to the market and see how it works and we tweak from that, remember. Nothing is perfect, and uh, you know, let's make progress one step at a time. Yep. All right. So, thank you so much That's for it. you know joining us today, Shad. Thank you so much. Yes, I pleasure, guess uh, we will wrap this round. And uh, remember, for those who are watching this, whether you are watching live or on the replay, this is the Three Marketers Show. If you like what we are doing here, remember to hit the like button and all that, and make sure you subscribe because uh, this is where we go live every week on Wednesday night at 10 p.m. Next week we have, next week we have a lady. Next week, oh, uh, finally. Yeah. Next week, we have a lady. So next week, we're going to talk about agency as well. This lady is um, really running an agency and uh, she's more skewed towards the education as well. Meaning that she's not an education academy like what we do with me and Chad, but she actually helped businesses, you know, as in like people, those coaches to start their own online learning portal. But I guess, I think, I think this is really something that we can learn from. So interesting. Uh, yeah. yeah, this is really something very interesting. So stay tuned next week. I will announce who is the lady and... Uh, yeah, let, let me fix everything and I'll make, make the further announcement. And this is the Three Marketers Show. This is Jason. We have Manfred and uh, uh, Andrew here. And we have Shad today as our special guest. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next week. Thank you, guys. Thanks. Bye-bye. Thank okay. you. Bye. Take care. Good night. Good night. Happy time. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye. Bye.